Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your general energy reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this video, this message finds you happy, safe, and well. Yeah? We are going to get into this. Please understand, you guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information for that can be found in the description box below, as well as my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up there. If you would like some extra monthly content from me uh, that is not found here on YouTube, including semi-daily readings such as morning coffee, yeah, please check us out over on Patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations the link to that can be found in the description box below as well for as little as three dollars a month you could be a closer more intimate member of the unicorn herd and get everything that is posted outside of youtube over on patreon yes plus a plethora a whole backlog of like two years worth of content at this point. So check us out over there, yeah, Scorpio? And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Definitely smash that like button for me as it helps to get this uh, video out there to more people through the YouTube algorithm so that more and more people can receive these messages. So we're going to get into this general message for your month of April of 2022. Yeah, Scorpio, I want to start off by getting you some animal spirit guide oracle just to start you off get you some general messages and then we're going to move into the general freestyle spread which is one of the options available as a personal reading uh using the golden art nouveau tarot yeah let's get into this I Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Please bring forward to best please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate rep representation of the energies in terms of what Scorpio needs to know for the month of April of 2022. All right, Scorpio. We're going to get started here, starting with the animal spirit guides. I'm going to give this five shuffles and see what messages we have for you this month. This is one. For my Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, and north node, best messages, please, spirit. What does Scorpio need to know this month? This is two. What do you want Scorpio to know this month? Yeah? Three. Four. five. All right, Scorpio. So what's going on for you this month? What messages do we have for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know? Oyster. Okay, Scorpio. I like this. Um, you know, what I'm getting with Oyster for you, Scorpio... Yeah, that's it. Okay. What I'm getting for you, Scorpio, in terms of Oyster is... Uh, you have a pearl within you, with inside of you. You, I feel like you are starting to discover the beauty of yourself, what it is you actually have to offer. You're starting to recognize the beauty of something within. Uh, either this is something within your life, like with I'm sorry, within you as a as a person, or um, this is something physical. There's I, I, some actual physical circumstance. Maybe it's an actual item. But you're starting to discover the true value of it. What's interesting, Scorpio, about the oyster is that oysters make pearls, uh, but they make those pearls from sand that gets trapped inside of them. And it does irritate them. Like it's not a fun or comfortable process. There is something that you have been going through, whether this is internally or externally, Scorpio. There's something that you're, you've been going through that has been painful or has been uncomfortable or is something that you may have rejected or may not have seen eye to eye with um, or really understood the value of it. But I feel like this month you're coming to terms with it. You're even starting to change your tune or change the way you feel about it, change the way you approach about it. You may 
this might for some of you this is an actual person this is a love connection for some of you this this kind of feels like and maybe this is just figurative but again you guys this is a general reading so take it as it resonates but um there is i'm getting this analogy of like you meet someone and like immediately you you hate each other or you can't stand each other or you don't find each other attractive or whatnot whatever and then as time goes on either you work with each other or this person is like a part of your friend group now or the universe just keeps pulling you guys together you just keep running into each other and over time the hardness or within you or the boundaries that you've set up for whatever reason, they soften and you start to see this person or you start to see each other in a completely different light. And then before you know it, bam, you're, you're struck by Cupid's arrow and now you're falling in love with this person. It literally could be some of that, something like that for some of you. Uh, take it as it resonates though. It doesn't have to be that way. It's just this energy of what once created disdain within you or what once you held some sort of disdain or dislike for something now all of a sudden that's changing and you're starting to recognize the value within it there is i do want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck here you do have dolphin at the bottom of the deck and spirit is saying to take it so i'm going to take that um there's a playfulness aspect to this uh for some of you i i do feel like what's going on here is you are actively learning how to be more playful uh, I am hearing with the universal energies, but for some of, but, and yes, okay, so the universe is the big picture here, the grand scheme of things, but then if you bring it down to the 3D or a more focused view, um, this actually really could be a person. You know, maybe you have this really rigid side to you, which makes sense, Scorpio, you are a fixed sign, so that would definitely make sense, but it's, that, it's like there is something that, or someone that has come into your life, or a, a something actually that's come into your life that is teaching you to be more playful and that's and for some of you what you're starting to recognize the value of is being playful or having some sort of childlike sense of wonder or allowing yourself to let loose and you know cut up a little bit a little bit here and there okay there is a definitely a level or a sense of rigidity that is being released from your life at this time and it's really beautiful and it's absolutely divinely orchestrated scorpio okay i absolutely love this for you so i'm gonna move these over here to the side and now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get into your tarot yeah so we're gonna use the golden art nouveau tarot five shuffles we're gonna get you your freestyle spread yeah here we go one for scorpio sun moon and sun moon rising and north node here for the month of april of 2022 please spirit that's two what messages do we have for scorpio at this time what does scorpio need to know right now this is three what do you want scorpio to know at this point spirit for their month of april of 2022 this is four wait was that two this is three. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, guys. I lose count sometimes. <laughs> this is four. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and north node. This is five. All right, Scorpio. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We're starting you off with the emperor. <laughs> That's funny, but there's that rigidity I was speaking to. Underneath the emperor. Excellent. You have temperance. Underneath temperance, you do in fact have the six of swords. And then underneath the six of swords, you have the king of pentacles. Okay. What I'm hearing. New business. New start to a business, new career path, a new job. A new financial reality. What I want us what I'm hearing here for you, Scorpio, is that the emperor has new clothes. Has a new outfit. Uh, a new way of being. There is a new shape to your reality. This is very interesting. What I'm getting from the King of Pentacles as your overall energy here, Scorpio, is 
Um, oftentimes for me, the King of Pentacles represents an energy that's very strong willed, uh, has a very strong sense of who they are and knows where they're going in life. And the King, of, I, I really feel like ultimately you are showing up as the emperor here. Okay. You are the emperor, very fixed, very rigid, very uh, factually based, you know, hard boundaries, hard rules. And this is all for a very real and good reason. Okay. I don't feel like this energy, this, this emperor energy within you is really all that bad. You know, the emperor does set rules. The emperor sets boundaries, but he does that in order to maintain the safety of those that he serves, like his empire and his subjects within the empire or, and, or, um, he sets these rules or these, these guidelines, or he's kind of rigid in this way because he knows if we do this a certain way, if we do this, this certain way, then we will be able to reach our goal. He does it in terms or in, in order to reach a certain outcome. For example, if you want, let's say an angel food cake, you're not, you can't, you have to follow the angel food cake recipe. You can't, I mean, unless you want a chocolate angel food cake, but you can't make a chocolate cake and expect it to come out you know, as an angel food or maybe something more comparable. You can't, you, you can't use a yellow cake recipe, 1111 on the counter in order to make an angel food cake. You know what I mean? It's a very different process. So that's the reason for this rigidity, or that's the reason for these rules that he may have put into place. Now, with that, you have temperance and the six of swords. There is some level of rebalancing, reshaping, re-alchemizing yourself. That is allowing you to move forward in from rough waters to cl calmer waters or clearer waters. And for some of you, you're starting to understand that this sense of rigidity that you have been holding on to or this certain rule structure or this certain fixed way of life, which makes perfect sense, Scorpio, because you are a fixed sign, but you're starting to recognize the challenges, the trauma that may be creating, how rigid that being, how being that rigid may actually be causing more turmoil or more strife than it is worth. Then we hit the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles here in this situation for you, Scorpio, is representing that new sense of reality or that new sense of identity or being very solid and firm in this new shape or this new way of being. Again, the King of Pentacles is another fixed sign. Obviously, that would represent Taurus, but... Now also, okay, here we go. If your north node, if you're if this is resonating for you in terms of your north node, if your north node is in Scorpio, then your south node is in Taurus, and the south node is the past, what we're comfortable with. The north node is how we're moving forward. And often the north node is very challenging because it's reshaping us or it's new, it's something that we're unfamiliar with. It's something that we have to learn from. Whereas the South Node is your comfort zone. You've already learned that lesson. So naturally you're going to be comfortable there. Okay. So with the King of Pentacles representing, technically representing Taurus, that also could represent the past, who you were before. But there has been a shift. There's been a change in this Scorpio for the better. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. We're going to look at the first half of this reading, which is going to look at the past energies, the recent past up until the current moment, yeah? All right, Scorpio. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. You have the Six of Wands, victory, overcoming some serious obstacles. Now, also, the Six of Wands for some of you is actually kind of representing um, this a level of keeping up appearance. The Six of Wands is definitely giving me this energy of in terms of anything that you may have really been clinging on to or holding on to some sort of rigid behavior or rigid belief system. It wasn't necessarily working, but you were but there was there's definitely a prideful energy involved with that. You didn't want to you, you didn't want to give in to a sense of disbelief, you know, from the people around you, you know, very rigid. Okay. There is definitely an energy of keeping up appearance here with this Six of Wands energy, all right? Six of Wands is coupled with, that. there it is right there. The Six of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. In the recent past, Scorpio, you have had to overcome a sense of pride and egotism. Some, some long-standing situation. It's very much the type of energy of, you know, we've done it this way for generations or for X amount of years. There, why should we change it now? Why, why fix... Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, you were some you were kind of denying the fact, Scorpio, that it was broken 
or it wasn't serving in the same way, or in some cases, it was no longer whatever it was you were holding on to was no longer relevant. You know, you, and, and you got it. What I'm hearing now with this Scorpio is, uh, the, I guess, the understanding that you come to in this is that you've got to change with the times. Times are a changing. And if, they, if, you know, you may, we may have done things a certain way in the 50s and 60s, but this is 2022. You know what I mean? Like, you got to get with the program here. You got to switch it up. You've got to allow yourself to be, to flow and not be so rigid. But that's the thing. We're talking to a fixed sign here. All right. So one of the strongest lessons for fixed signs in this lifetime is allowing you selves, allowing yourselves to be fluid to a certain extent or allowing yourself to not be so rigid and to release things that don't that no longer serve you. OK, second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in terms of the recent past up until now. Bam, justice. Balancing the scales changing your life. I feel like you allowing yourself to accept whatever it needs to be changed or fixed or let go of, it really brought a sense of ease into your life. It's like literally out of nowhere, boop, it, everything just got easier because you were no longer going against the grain. Things were allowed to flow now and that's bringing greater justice into your life here. For some of you, this justice energy is a little bit of karmic retribution, okay? There may have been this sense of rigidity that you were you were holding on to, Scorpio, may have really been hurting some people around you. And for some of you, I am hearing you got a little bit of a taste of your own medicine, uh, but ultimately that was not to shame you, that was not to hurt you, that was not to, you know, to get back at you, really. It was just, it's the way, the universe's way of teaching us, okay? In some cases, Many times you are going to have to experience, you're going to have to experience certain things in order for you to really understand the effects that it has, specifically I'm hearing, on other people, okay? So that you can change your perspective of it and go with the flow more easier. Justice is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. So for the most part here, what I'm feeling is that the work that you have been doing, what it is you've been striving for has changed, um, but it's getting easier. I just feel like it's flowing now. I feel like maybe you've gotten a sense of creativity or a sense of drive or uh, um, back. Uh, maybe you were losing your passion for it. You were losing your sense of commitment for it. You were losing a sense of purpose. But now that you've eased up, now that you've allowed this, what allowed yourself to be more playful or you've started to find the value in something new, now that's bringing your, your drive back, your sense of inspiration. It's allowing you to, to, to hunker down and say, yes, I want to continue doing this or yes, I want to take this, this new project on. I'm getting a sense of being much happier with this too. That's a big part of the justice that's being served here for you, Scorpio. You're much happier. You're much light, much more lighthearted, I'm hearing. Excellent. Your challenge in terms of the past up until the current energies, letting go. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. And the immediately, as soon as I saw that Four of Pentacles, I heard rigidity. Oh yeah, the Four of Pentacles is a very rigid energy. The Four of Pentacles is a miserly energy. The Four of Pentacles is a hoarding type of energy, holding on to, for dear life, not wanting to let go for fear of losing or, or missing out or not being able to gain anything back. That is absolutely the challenge here. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Cups. For some of you, this absolutely was accepting a level of childlike nature, the dreamer nature. For a lot of you, this was all about being less practical and more dreamy. Again, if this is resonating for you on your north node, that makes so much more sense. So much sense. Why? Because your south node is in Scorpio. I'm, I'm sorry, is in Taurus. And Taurus is the earth sign of the fixed signs. Talk about rigid, right? But then Scorpio is the water aspect of the fixed signs. So while Scorpio can be a bit rigid too, Scorpio is still flowy, creative, intuitive, even spiritual, okay? So your challenge was letting go of a level of rigidity and opening up to the flow, opening up to the dreamer aspect, opening up to, in many cases, the unknown, beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome in terms of the past? 
Seven of Cups. There's the unknown right there. But also what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups is the, 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 the possibilities are endless. And for some of you, that's what scared you the most. You couldn't see how things would go about. You couldn't see an end in sight. You couldn't see an end result. There were just too many options. Too, it was too overwhelming. In, the infinite was not something you were trying to fuck with. But now there's a sense of a new structure here that is allowing you to open up to the possibilities. And this, and this Seven of Cups energy actually feels pretty exciting at this point, doesn't it? Because the possibilities are endless. Seven of Cups is coupled with... The Seven of Pentacles, wow. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing with this, luck is on your side. Set the, the number seven is a lucky number, but it's not lucky just because of, 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 of happenstance. It's a lucky number because you have done the work. You have prepared yourself. You have put yourself, you have set yourself up to win. And now it just keeps coming to you. Okay. I, what I'm getting here in terms of this closing energy, uh, 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 um, uh, closing message or potential outcome, your harvests in the future moving forward, Scorpio, are going to be so much better. Like I'm getting a level of a greater sense of fertilization being brought into your personal garden because you are opening yourself up to the possibilities because the possibilities are endless. That allows more nutrients, better nutrients, stronger nutrients from all corners of the universe to be accessible to you now because you're opening up, you put opening yourself up to more, more possibilities, more sources of information, more sources of creativity. Your harvests, your personal garden, of course, figuratively speaking, or maybe even physically speaking, who knows, literally speaking, who knows, but in terms of analogy here, right? Your garden, your harvest, that which you produce, that which you create is going to get so much better. Why? Because you are opening yourself up to the endless possibilities that the universe has for you. Love this for you, Scorpio. Let's get into the second half of your reading. So the second half is going to look at the current energies moving off into the future. So what you could be heading towards, what could be coming down the pipeline for you. Yeah. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. Bam, there you are, death. Transformation, though. Serious transformation is what I'm hearing. Squ uh, uh, death is coupled with judgment. So what I'm getting with this energy is current off into the near future. Um, there's going to be a moment where you are really going to be able to step through this transformation. I feel like um, you've been preparing and you've completed your prere prerequisites and now you're ready to graduate or you're ready to transform. This is, this is the energy of the universe saying Scorpio is ready to enter into the next phase of their life or enter into this next step. You can kind of call this your graduation moment. I love this for you, Scorpio. Second set of surrounding energies for you. The King of Swords. Yet another fixed sign, but, uh, or fixed energy. Yes, okay, makes perfect sense. We are talking to a fixed sign, but this is from the air element. Okay, so this is your mind. And I feel like that even though, you know, even though you're still kind of rigid, you know, you're still the boss, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're not taking that from you, Scorpio, okay? But I feel like this King of Swords actually represents you being way more objective. So maybe in the past, you may have been a little bit of a Queen of Swords energy, not trying to hear any other points of view, not trying to hear any, uh, any arguments, not trying to... Um, not trying to see it from a different perspective, whatnot, whatever. Whereas now you're in this King of Swords energy. So you're at least saying, all right, I'll entertain it. I'll hear what you have to say. I'll hear you out. I'll take this into consideration. And it's not even like you're saying that just to appease somebody. You're saying it with genuine truth and honesty. I am actually willing to hear what you have to say. I am actually willing to hear, take your argument or your point of view into account here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Scorpio. King of Swords is coupled with the Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, so what I'm getting for some of you here is this. This involves family. 
either you're a father uh, or a, a, a mother, you're some sort of a central matriarchal or patriarchal figure, someone who has a, a hell of a lot of power and demands quite a bit of respect within this family or within this community or this organization. And at this point, I feel like you are you are you are really entering into a space where you can hear the arguments, you can hear people's points of view, you're willing to listen, you're willing there there's a level of healing certain heartbreaks that are coming through for some of you. Okay? For others of you this is this is not it doesn't have to do with other people external to you. This has to do with internally within your own self. But you're able to see some sort of heartbreaking situation or pain from the past in a much different way that allows you guys to heal or yourself to heal and move forward. And I'm, I really want to say move forward together. Of course, this is a general reading. It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe some of you are uh, 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 moving forward independently, but it's about releasing the pain, um, reconciliation, or gaining some sort of relief from it because you're able to approach the situation from a, a more logical point of view, some of I did hear for some of you, or just from a more objective point of view that allows you to put a lot of the pain to rest. And in some cases, clear it away completely. Beautiful. Your challenge in the future here, Scorpio. Three, look at that. There's the reconciliation right there, the Three of Cups. Coming back together, okay? Recognizing the truth of who you are to each other. Um, especially if, like, remember in the beginning of the reading when I was giving that an analogy of, like, you know, you meet somebody and you hate each other at first, but then as time goes on, you soften to each other, and then ultimately either you fall in love with each other or maybe even you become best friends. Three of Cups for you. That's it. That is that energy right there, Scorpio. Now, this is the challenge here, but what I'm feeling is this is where you're heading, okay? So it's not even like this is a new challenge. What I'm hearing for you, Scorpio, is that this has been the challenge all along. You may not have actually recognized it or realized it until now, but that's absolutely what's challenging you here. Coming back together, finding a sense of camaraderie, being able to see uh, 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 see eye to eye with someone or with each other, be getting on the same page with each other. But I don't feel like this is something that you're being forced into other than the fact that the universe has been guiding you this way anyway, okay? Three of Cups is coupled with the Ace of Cups. That couldn't be any more friggin' beautiful, Scorpio. Three of Cups to the Ace of Cups. This is absolutely the energy of you extending a level of grace and unconditional love to someone else or them extending that to you or you extending it to each other. Beautiful. Reconciliation. Reconnecting. Again, yes, some of you, this has to do with your family, specifically your father. Either you and your father or you and your child, if you are a father or something like that. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. Ace of Pentacles. A brand new start. And there's that brand new seed that you get to plant in your garden that is now being re-fertilized with something way better than it ever was in the past. A brand new beginning, a new reality, a new start, a new way of life. Excellent. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the chariot. Ooh, that's beautiful. But see, this is an energy of you moving forward uh, I'm hearing in a deeply inspired way, but you having a new sense of fulfillment and a new sense of commitment to start over or to move forward with, okay, a new alignment to move forward with that is actually going to bring way more ease into your life. It flows better, okay? You're not going against the grain any longer. You're going with the flow of the current or the flow of reality, and it brings so much ease into your life, Scorpio. I mean, that's a big feeling for you here. So much ease. And that's beautiful. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to close out the reading here for you. I'm going to get you some Oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. All right. Five shuffles for you, Scorpio, to get your closing Oracle guidance. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. That's one. Two. Closing Oracle guidance for my Scorpios, please, Spirit. Three, four, and five. All right. 
Closing Oracle Guidance, closing message for Scorpio, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Oh, look at this. Card number 22, Tender Embrace. Oh, this is so beautiful. All right. The key concepts with this card are compassion, warm-hearted care for self and others, sensitivity and empathy, benevolence, kindness. Put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply, inhaling a sense of gratitude. Now, how do you feel? Keep doing this, tuning into the world around you, others you know and even those you don't know. Can you feel compassion for them? Compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. The questions to ask now are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve and in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service to others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. Excellent, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, all of the information can be found in the description box below. Just shoot me an email and let me know you're interested and I'll get you all hooked up. And also, if you would like some extra monthly content from me that you don't find here uh, on YouTube on a regular basis, then check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. For as little as $3 a month, you could be a more intimate member of the unicorn herd. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Scorpio, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Beauty must. <laughs> Bye.